What is up everybody, this is the nice zombie coming at you. Now recently, I've been thinking about how I can improve my speed when I'm drawing. Uh, drawing Lotta in particular. So, I was looking at all the different aspects and to see if, if there's anything I can cut down on. And I thought, hmm, it has to be the colors. Now, Frost, Frost Drive, my friend. He, I, I'll put a link to his Facebook, no, to his YouTube, and uh, now he said he only uses uh, one or two layers whenever he colors, and so I thought, hmm, maybe that's where I can improve, because I use way more than that, but I also think I, I have a, like a great system for it, so I don't know which one would be best, but that's what I'm here to find out. So yeah, let's see what, what we come up with. Alright, so we have my most recent page. And this is kind of behind the scenes as well, so yeah. Uh, I have uh, blurred out some of, the <laughs> some of the good bits. But anyway, this is kind of how I work. I have, uh, I have a screenshot of the character I need to color next to me. And I just sort of, uh, you can see on the right here, this is where the colors end up. So I can have two at once, I can switch between them. So I pick colors from this little snapshot and then add it here. I'm just gonna do the line art and then we can get started with our experiment. Alright, that takes care of that. Now we can finally start with the... wait, hold on. With the actual task at hand. All right, so we'll start off with the character and draw it in two layers, pretty much. Because there's gonna be one for the base and then there's gonna be another one for shading. And then I'm gonna do my style, which is each color has its own layer. Which sounds complicated on paper, but there's a huge advantage to it. See how I don't need to worry about drawing over the skin. That is, of course, because the skin is above the hair. What's more, when you're shading, you don't have to worry about your shade going out of bounds. Because if you're working with different layers, you can lock them individually. And this is a very basic drawing software feature. So don't worry about which program you're using. This will still work. Now you'll see, when I lock them, can't actually draw outside of these blobs of color that I have. So when I actually go to shade, I think this method is way faster because I, I don't have to be so precise or uh, careful. But of course, it takes a little bit more time to set things up. So, you know, that's kind of what this is about. I want to wager which one is faster. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get started. I'll start with um, two layers and then I'll go to my method which will be three layers. And go. That's okay if it's a little messy. I just want to get a basic understanding of which one is faster. We're going to go through the entire thing. Now I need to make sure I draw the big parts first. So... Or... or uh, Better yet, the, the pieces that are gonna be 
uh, below everything else. You see, I'm drawing over myself here. Yeah, this went mad quick. You can, <laughs> like, can you see this? I'm doing this in real time here. Right, right. Speedable. Right, right, right. And now for shading. Uh, pick that. Color. Take one from the wheel. And it took about two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty fast. Uh, let's see how my method uh, measures up. And a one, and a two, and a go. Now, in this case, I'm actually going the opposite way. I'm drawing everything that's uh, furthest, like the, the things that are in front. Because, because I'm using layers, it's actually gonna be easier if I do that. Right? Because now I'm drawing on a layer below the skin and I can just sort of boom, like this. And then our top. And the top is the easiest one because everything else it's just it just helps essentially. The further you go, the easier it is the color. Don't remember what color the bowl had, but it's something like this probably. Right, and now we go. There. It took one minute and 45 seconds. Hmm. Now, I mean, I'm more used to this kind of method, so I don't know if that's uh, a factor as well. Maybe this is going faster because I'm way more used to this workflow. Hmm. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking this isn't it. Like this isn't what is taking up most of my time, right? I feel like from two minutes to one and three quarters, it's like, hmm, it's got to be something else I can improve on. But that's where the second experiment comes in, because now we're going to do the background as well. So again, I'm basing this on sort of uh, what I've gathered from my friend Frost Drive's way of drawing. I'm not sure, I haven't asked him if this is how he draws background as well. Uh, with just like one layer and uh, sh uh, another shade layer. I'm gonna try that. And then I'm gonna try my method once more, which is, uh, again, as you know, a bunch of layers to make it easier to shade afterwards. Two layers is a go. Uh, 
Ah, the pastelic colors looking nice. That's actually a tip for you. Uh, draw pastelic backgrounds because that will make uh, your characters pop more. Maybe you don't know what pastelic means. That ain't something I can cover in this video. And not while I'm working. Whew. All right. Shading now. And time. Yep, yep, yep. Under one minute. Damn, that's really, <laughs> that's really something. And now we're gonna try my usual method. And I'm thinking this is gonna be the turning point. Like the my method is gonna be way slower here. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. My method is a go. And I'm not uh, picking colors right now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm mixing new ones to keep it fair. Because that saves a bunch of time as well. Right, and now for the shading. And time. One and a half minute. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Now see, it's kind of like, I don't really know if this does anything. Like, I'm just saving half minutes right now. So, hmm. I feel like there's something else. Like, if... If filling out the characters, like uh, uh, coloring the characters, takes one minute for each one, and the backgrounds take one minute, then wh how the how am I using so many out? Like one page usually takes six hours. So where does all that time go? You know, it probably goes into actually rendering the pages because like right, right now it's very messy you can see I mean just look at it right <laughs> so maybe that's it uh, just me polishing up everything yeah yeah I ha I'll have to ask Frost how he does that but uh, yeah, this was a fun experiment. Uh, I'll probably, like once I know what, what I want to test out next, I'll probably do another one of these. But yeah, yeah, I believe my method still is valid. And uh, oh hey, maybe you know what I'm missing just by watching me draw. You can comment below if you have some secret insight. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. But before I go, I gotta thank my patriots. Thank you so much for being around. 
and uh, I hope this tickled your fancy. <laughs>